Are you overly confident as a public speaker? Hi, I'm Diane DeResta, author of Knockout Presentations, and usually I'm working with people on the opposite issue. They are not confident enough, and we help them to feel confident on the platform. But if you get comments about how confident you are, there may be a risk of being overly confident or arrogant. So how does confidence translate to arrogance? Well, there are three things that will communicate or can communicate arrogance. And the first is body language. If you speak with your head or your chin tilted up, that usually communicates arrogance, vanity. I'm above it all. I'm better than you. So first step is keep your chin level so that you're on the same plane as everybody else. The second reason you may be perceived as arrogant is too many I statements. When all you talk about is yourself without regard for the audience, that can be perceived as arrogant. And the third way that you may be perceived as overly confident is when you show no vulnerability. That is, you talk yourself up, you're very good at that, but you don't show any humility or any humanity, meaning that you are not sharing any faux pas or mistakes or issues that the audience can relate to. So you're not really showing that you're like them, that you make mistakes and you're human too. And that's what connects with an audience. So think about if you're confident and you know you are, and people comment all the time on how confident you are, check it out. Is it going just a little bit too far? For more tips, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and read my book, Knockout Presentations. This is Diane DeResta, deresta.com.